Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will focus on your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what their intentions or next actions might be for the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. All right, so let's get into it for Pisces. All right, spirit, messages for Pisces, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Hang on, let me get my bracelet. I love my bracelets. For Pisces, please, regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Spirit, tell me about Pisces and the person they are in a connection with. What are they thinking or feeling in regards to Pisces at this time? What are they thinking or feeling in regards to Pisces or this connection? The person that Pisces is thinking you can hear or feel regarding Pisces or this connection. We got the whale. I've been getting this card so many times. <clears throat> a lot of deep emotions with the whale, a lot of depth to the whale energy. Um, the whale is um, very sensitive, um, very mature because they've been through a lot. Um, they've ha have lived long lives and learned. For some reason, when I think of this card, I think of, or when I see this card, I think of, for you Pisces, because I've gotten this card for the other ones, but for you, I, I'm feeling something very different. I'm feeling like this whale is going to the surface, like nearing the surface. See how there's like sunshine at the top of that card i feel like there's something deep coming to the surface we'll see what else for pisces and the person they're thinking about what are their thoughts or feelings about pisces fire ant so something a lot of activity with the fire ant a lot of drama energy hot tempers conflict maybe whatever comes out from your person here will bring conflict of some sort, or maybe your person's dealing with conflict in their life. Now I'm gonna have your person on this side and you on this side, Pisces. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. All right, Spirit, tell me about Pisces and the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection. What are the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection, Spirit? Spider, interesting. Lots of work. You're putting in a lot of effort in this connection. Spider is very creative. Um, they're always working on something. Um, usually they can work on complex things. They work tirelessly. Okay, what else? What else can you tell me about Pisces at this time? What else can you tell me about Pisces? Turtle. The turtles very, uh, they're able to adapt very well to different circumstances. They collect life experiences under their shell. Well, very wise, the turtle. For some reason, I'm thinking you've been working on this for a long time with this person. Whatever you're working on here with the spider. It's been a lot of work and it's been for a while here. Like time has passed here. So let's get into this for Pisces in regards to love for Pisces. What do we need to know for Pisces? What do we need to know? All right, let's look at your person's energies first, Pisces. Sorry, what do we need to know about the person that Pisces is in connection with? What do we need to know? Other 
Here we got the Four of Wands here. What else do you need to know? Stability, harmony, peace in the home. Ace of Cups reverse. And Five of Cups. Disappointment, heartbreak, regret on your person's end here. Possibly something to do with moving, home, family. We'll clarify those in a little bit. Okay, tell me about Pisces energy spirit. What do we need to know about Pisces? And the energy they bring to this connection. What about Pisces? How do you feel about this person? We got strength card, Leo energy, eight of swords, feeling trapped, stuck. What else can you tell me about Pisces? What is going on with my cards? <laughs> okay, the full reverse. Okay, so what's going on mutually here? What's going on in this connection for both of you? Four of Pentacles reverse. What's going on in this connection spirit? What are the mutual energies here between Pisces and this person? What are the mutual energies here? Seven of Wands. The mutual energies here. Hmm. Okay, a little more for the mutual energies in this connection. More heartbreak. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the world. I feel like there's something going on here between you where there's like a push and pull. Um one of you is 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 willing to fight for this is willing to stand up for what you believe in stand your ground defend yourself defend this connection and the other person is almost like either they're refusing to let go of something or they're no longer holding back. I'm going to have to clarify that. But for some reason, these two energies here feel very different. The Seven of Wands and this Four of Pentacles reverse, they feel very different. And in the midst of all this is disappointment, heartbreak, disillusionment. All right, so let's see. Help me clarify these energies, please. For Pisces Spirit, help me clarify. These energies, please. Let's start with this Four of Wands. What is going on here with this Four of Wands? What is going on here with this Four of Wands? Ooh, Knight of Swords reverse. What's going on with this Four of Wands? deception or just brutal honesty again it okay tell me about this four of wands please before i get ahead of myself temperance sagittarius energy here with temperance balance patience um coming together trying to make something blend together here with judgment reverse at the bottom. Something's off here. Something's off. It's like someone's trying to make something work. You know, someone's taking their time trying to make something happen here. Something happen and blend together and be stable and, and have harmony. But I don't think it's working. Can I get one more? For this four of wands, please. I got one more for this Four of Wands. Hermit Reverse. Virgo Energy. So 
someone's uh, completely withdrawn here, probably even running away from their responsibilities, not listening to advice, not listening to their intuition. I feel like someone's trying to retain stability, at least the appearance of stability, of harmony in the home. I don't think it's real. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reverse. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reverse, please. Five of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Cups reverse. I feel like this disappointment is because someone has a wish of coming out of the cold of possibly coming back together with someone and it's not happening. This King of Pentacles reverse tends to be someone that's very selfish, greedy, even corrupt. They're bad with finances. They're, they don't make very wise decisions. They tend to be already in a commitment. King of Pentacles. I feel like someone's been trying to have a wish here of coming out of the cold. I don't think it's happening. Or maybe they got their wish, but it's not what they thought it was going to be. There was a big compromise. It's been very heartbreaking. Whatever, whatever has not been fulfilled has been heartbreaking. Could be financial difficulty for someone, but I'm, I think that's for a small number of you. I'm not feeling that very strongly. I see disappointment, regret here, and I think it's because, you know, this, this person could be missing you, Pisces, or they screwed up in a big way. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Ten of Swords reverse. So there's was some sort of ending here that happened between you or that's ongoing. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Maybe your person wants forgiveness, wants to move on from whatever betrayal or painful ending happened here. Yeah, this is a burden for your person. Whatever this is, this is a burden for your person that they've been carrying. And it has to do with the past. Here's that world card again. Tell me more about the Five of Cups, please. Queen of Wands reverse. Ten of Cups at the bottom. I think there's something to do with either family or home. There's something here to do with the family or the home for your person, for this person here. And I'm going to just say your person because this is them for me. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more. But to avoid confusion, for your person, there's something happening in the home here. There is, um, it's almost like your person is thinking about how to, how to overcome this burden. How to come out of the cold. How to overcome the regret. How to forgive and move on and I don't think it's working for some reason it could be there's some sort of interference here with the Queen of Wands reverse it could be they don't have the courage um, they don't have the resources possibly it could also be that this person is deep down afraid of facing the music because I have the Hermit reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse Maybe the on the truth is a little hard to swallow for this person. And so they have a lot of feelings. And it's like they're torn up inside. There's conflict within them or surrounding them. So let's see, what about you? 
Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Ooh! You're trying to be strong because you're waiting for an opportunity. Trying to control your emotions here. Face challenges and, and it's like you're hunkering down because you're waiting for an opportunity. Tell me more about strength. Yep, you're waiting for an offer. You're waiting for an offer that's fair to you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? And it's almost like you feel like there's... It's almost like your head's playing games or your mind is playing games with you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely. I have the Seven of Pentacles here. And then I have the three of wands reversed. So I feel like time, the waiting, the waiting has played games with you. Tell me more about the eight of swords. <laughs> Seven of pentacles. Definitely, um, you're having doubts. Doubts, wondering if this is going to play the way that you think it's going to play. Um, I feel there's an emotional attachment here as well, like some sort of uh, dependence, codependence, possibly with the Queen of Cups reversed. Um, I, I think your emotions are all over the place when it comes to this this person waiting for this offer. Wondering if you missed the boat with this person. If your time, your opportunity has passed. If this offer will ever come. Tell me about the full reverse. Tell me about the full reverse. Some of you are thinking about taking a risk here, yeah. Some of you are really stuck in the past here with the Six of Cups reverse and are willing to, to, to take a reckless risk here. Uh, possibly you don't even care anymore if it's something is risky. Ten of Cups. I feel like this has to do with like the future. Whatever risk you're willing to take, um, whatever you're evaluating right now, um, whatever new beginning you haven't had, it's almost like it's about either this is a block, this Ten of Cups is a block for you, or this is like a risk you're willing to take no matter how crazy it is in order to have that happy ending. Can I get one more for the full reverse, please? Queen of Pentacles. So I have a pair on the board. Oh, Knight of Wands reverse. A King of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles upright, and then have a random Queen over here, Queen of Wands. I feel like this is what you want, Pisces. You want a happy ending, stable connection happiness, financial security, long-term family, everything. This is what you want. I feel like you feel, I feel like you think the past is going to give you that. You're just waiting for your new beginning with that person, with whoever this offer is from, which I think is this person over here. Um, you've been patiently waiting, being, you know, willing to go with the flow here because your your mind is on the end goal here. But I think you're also, there's this worry that this person's not gonna commit to you. Are they someone you can rely on? Are they someone that will stick around? So let's see, what's going on with this Seven of Wands? What's the Seven of Wands about? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles reverse. So someone here I feel like does not no longer wants to work on this. What else can you tell me about the seven of wands? It's way too many. Okay, one more card for the seven of wands, please. Queen of Swords reverse. Another queen. Someone here does not is, is, is they don't want to work on on this, and also they're not being very nice about it either. 
either there's a lack of communication or bad communication happening here. Something's not working. And maybe instead of fighting for this, someone's defending themselves against this. One of you, because this is mutual energy. So one of you is defending yourself against something that's not working, against someone that is cold, calculating, unemotional, um, doesn't communicate well, uh, manipulates the truth. Probably something having to do with the commitment here with the a higher font at the bottom. Ooh. My cards are just, don't want to stay in my hands. Okay, tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse here? Empress. So I feel like someone here wants to grow or manifest after... Oh, wow. What is this? Seven of Swords reverse High Priestess? Secrets. Lies. Hidden factors. Something here is going to come to light. Someone's going to get caught. This Seven of Swords reverse. Someone's going to get caught. And I feel like this Empress is going to do something about it. I think they're going to completely let go of this situation. What is going on there, Pisces? Look at this. Justice at the bottom. Like, you're... Someone's going to get caught. Possibly even have legal, legal like, problems here. There is definitely something going on here. That just came out of left field. What? Tell me about this page of cups reverse. The magician? What else for this page of cups reverse? And then the eight of wands reverse. No movement, no communication. Okay, so there might not be a lot of communication between you and this person. Someone's manifesting communication manifesting an offer or, or a new beginning here. I feel like there hasn't been a lot of movement in a new beginning and someone's getting impatient and wants to take matters into their own hands. I feel like this is your person because this person over here is not doing well. They're not doing well. They're extremely disappointed and heartbroken. And I think it's their fault. I think they try to run away from problems instead of dealing with them head on. I think they were trying to rebalance their life, uh, fix a situation. 